Now let's take a look now at a little bit of uh, graphics capabilities of Media Composer. So what we're going to do now, uh, I'm going to go into my effects palette uh, to let's do some simple uh, paint capabilities. So from here, I just drag my paint effects, I drop it into the timeline here. So I go into my effects mode. So the effects mode, I can start to work with the, the, this picture frame here. Now let's start something very basic. Let's really draw some basic shape. For example, draw a circle. For example, I just want to do a cover off of this image here in the circle. Uh, we do have different blending modes. You can see here, just a colorized saturation and things like that. In this uh, case here, we're just going to do a, a simple mosaic. So for some odd reason, we just need to mosaic that. So if I were to just bring this back shot back to the beginning, and of course that shot, uh, that mosaic has been off where it's supposed to be. So I can drag this back here. Now naturally, uh, editors may want to do a keyframe uh, each of them in, uh, in, in that particular effect they want to do. But uh, in MIDI Composer, in, to make that easier, we actually have tracking built in. So tracking uh, is built in, there's a four point tracking, so you can enable all of them. Uh, so even rotational type of uh, uh, effects that you need to track also can be done. So if with two tracker points, you can actually almost stabilize shots that is very shaky. So now uh, what I need to do is just bring the tracker point to the target, adjust the sample area, and then I just go and start to uh, do the through the tracking from here. So a couple of seconds to finish tracking, so I can turn from data to effects results. So I can pull this back to the front to see the hole, and I can play that back in real time. So you can see there's no rendering involved. You can just quickly do a track, uh, and the object that you're drawn, the mosaic here will follow that particular uh, track point. So you can see actually tracking is already built in into MIDI Composer. So we have not exited MIDI Composer to do some of these uh, effects that you need to do. On the very, very, early, very early version, with version, this is version 5.5, which means version 3, uh, we're already able to take advantage of multi-core CPU, multi-threading, and even GPU power. So with nowadays a lot of very uh, high-end GPU from uh, NVIDIA, so we take advantage of those and use the, the whole system in balance with the breakout box to give you the fastest acceleration, the fastest experience you have uh, doing everything. The minimum requirement, all we need now is just a dual core machine or, or of a laptop. You can actually start to work with a media composer and a software version. Only. So this is a telecommercial. Let's take a look at that. In my media composer, my timeline can be fully customized to for audio purposes, for playback purposes, or even for normal editing. Okay, let's play this uh, little commercial and have a look at this. The legend is saying, take Fanta to the top of the love tree. You wanna try climbing? Okay then. Fanta tell you your true love name. So you can see this particular advertisement, there's a lot of heavy graphics involved, a lot of keying studio shots. So let me just load up a small portion of this. So we want to build this particular effect that you've seen in the advertisement, this particular shot here uh, on top of the love tree. So this effect here basically is made out of multiple layers or effects stacked on each other. Now video composer can un uh, have unlimited number of layer stacks in a single uh, video track. So now I'm going to break this down bit by bit so that you can actually see how we actually build this in a couple of minutes. So I'm going to remove all the effects. So you can see on the base, this is the background shot, the sunset scene on track one, and you have that studio shot in track two. So I'm going to first use the paint tool, which earlier on we saw using the paint effect. I'm going to drag that again now into the top layer. And I'm going to start to do some movie magic here. So we're going to go again, draw some shapes. Now this time around, I'm going to use a polygon tool. So we can actually start to trace shapes that is far more accurate and far more complex. So in this case here, I'm not going to use the solid, I'm going to use something called clone. So we can clone that, that section and now we can drag that out 
to well fill in more plant the potted plant in the studio so i can do a copy ctrl c ctrl v paste it and then drag it and then just fill up that whole portion here so you can see that quite easily we can do cloning uh, on the media composer i'm going to quickly finish up the other side so i just drag it so there you have you, there you have it we have uh, well on top of the love tree now this is actually live video it's not still shot if i play that you can see actually the leaves are moving Real-time performance, no rendering at the, even at this stage. So that we finish with that. Now the next part here is the one to get rid of all the, the blue screen. So we're going to do a chroma key. So in this case, I'm just going to my key effects, grab my chroma key, drag and drop it into the effects. So the chroma key have more or less got rid of all the uh, blue screen. Now, of course, we can fine tune. Now we do in, in our chroma key, the standard chroma key will generally only give you an RGB slider. But in Media Composer, we can use Spectrum Match, which is a more advanced chroma key. It will allow you got more plenty row of controls, including matte, spills, and very detailed control, but you generally you only can find them on high-end uh, finishing system. So what you see here is called a spectrograph. In the center portion, that's all the pixels you see from that frame. So they're all represented visually on screen, so you can see that. So this blank here is actually the blue portion uh, you are trying to key out. By moving the sliders here, you actually move that wedge so you know which are the parts that you're trying to key, which are the parts you're trying to preserve. The next stage for us to finish up that shot uh, is to now add mats. So to key out all these studio flags and ladders whatnot in there, I'm just going to drag a mat key. So these are all the default, uh, the default, so. default effects and you don't need, even need to use, I have not used any third party uh, stuff. Yeah, including the paint effects. Yeah, yeah, they're all in there. So I don't need a, another application.